All right, everybody. Hi. Welcome back to uh, the Clo Show podcast. Can you get off your phone? Turn it off. Put on silent. Airplane mode. We're not on a plane. You okay, hi. Welcome back to the Clo Show. Wow, what a journey. I think it's been about um, six years since our last episode. Max, how long has it been? Uh, probably been a year. A year, yeah. Probably a year. The last time we tried to record here, I had a seizure. In oh, yeah? Of Chris Hansen. To catch a predator guy. Oh, really? I yeah. don't know who that is. Well, I know his voice from. That's because you were touching kids in Ireland, not in America. It's not illegal. If you could let me finish my introduction, then I'll introduce this voice, which is not Colin Farrell. But, anyways, I don't even know if he's Irish. Anyways, so, uh, yeah, so we decided to start this podcast up again because um, I don't really have much else going on for me. And I've had a few requests. For the podcast, yeah, the podcast, the Close Show podcast, and then I figured, you know, why don't I have a good friend of mine on the show who we discussed history a lot? Me and you are history buffs for I'm sure. A buff, uh, I haven't introduced you. It just sounds like this random voice talking. Okay, so our first guest for this new season. What season are we in, Max? Twelve. Season twelve. <laughs> And <laughs> how long are the, can I ask? Can I interrupt? Yes. How long are the seasons? <laughs> Whenever, depending on when she finds a bottle of vodka, is it? Yeah, depending yeah. when I go to rehab again. Wait, can you? Can we just turn it like this, and then you just go a little bit over there, just a little bit more on this side. So that the you want me to be closer to you or oh, further? Yeah, we're gonna face here so that they can see you on camera. There we go. Nice. I'm helping. I'm like your. I'm his name is Colum Tyrell. Yeah. Oh, wait, did you not know my name? Tyrell. Yeah. Tyrell? You got Tyrell, yeah. Call him Tyrell. 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 Yeah, what you're rolling your R's. Tyrell. 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 Tyr. Tyr. Oh. Tyrell. Oh. Oh. Tyrell. Tyrell. Call him Tyrell. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, welcome. So Colm is a great comedian. Thank you. And um, he's really funny, and he's from Ireland, and... Uh, yeah, so um, welcome to the Close Show season twelve. Okay, hell yeah. <clears throat> so, Colm. Season twelve. Yeah, are you excited to be here? Yeah. You asked what this podcast is about, and literally, it's about absolutely nothing. Good. But also everything at the same time. Yes. We used to do like a. New, we started first off. Uh, that's why I thought you'd be a good guest for this because you know it's very fluid, kind of like your sexuality. Ooh, did you write that before you got here? No. No? You just were fucking off the cuff? This wow. is all off the cuff. That's great. Yeah. You should... <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That's real cool. Uh, hi, Wordplay. I am Chloe. I'm a goofball. <laughs> hi, Chloe. <laughs> um, so have you ever had sex with a man? Hmm? Uh, <laughs> what's sex? What's the definition of sex? Um, uh, penetration. No. Uh, would you? Maybe, yeah. You could have sex with one man. I'm getting old. You know, why not? Why not fuck a guy? <laughs> you know? I don't know what I'm doing yet. But like, you know, just like cross it off the list, I guess. Be more like, more, you know. You know, it's like eating, the, like eating bugs when you go to China or whatever. Just to like experience it. Huh. Would you like to take it in the butt or give it? Taking it? I don't know. I'd, I'd have to see the guy. I've never seen a guy yet where I'm like, oh, I'd love to him to put it in my butt. But he could be there. I don't know if he'd be a little twinky guy. I don't know if I'd love a big dick or a small dick. Don't know what color. I don't know. I've yet to, I've yet to find the one. <laughs> I feel like you know. How do you know? How do you know that you want my dick in your butt? I, it's just, it just came. It's just, it's, it's just it, in your soul, right? And I want your specific dick in my butt. One of my dicks, yeah. You've multiple dicks. Yeah, I've got a jar full of. I've got jars at home, <laughs> okay. and they float in a jar. Yeah, <laughs> and then you you strap them on. I I go on eBay and I buy them from trans women. <laughs> That's how they pay for their fucking surgery. I pay top dollar. Top dollar. Can I, we look that up? Can we look that up? Are we on, are we on the internet in this room? This yeah, <laughs> Max, can you look that up? Can I buy a used cock, <laughs> secondhand cock? Max, you, you can call it. You can, you can 
Google that one. I can Google it. Uh, Colin? Yeah, Colin just has to type in B and it'll come up buying secondhand cocks. <laughs> it already. <laughs> Yo, it'll come right up in the search bar. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> that's interesting to collect that. Is that gay? Yeah, I don't think that's gay. I just think that if you collect, you collect. It's kind of like the Pokemon cards of adults. No. And I feel like it's the Gen Z of Pokemon cards. Absolutely. You just have a little jar. It's like one of those uh, jars in a barber shop, you know, where they keep a comb and stuff in it, where they're just nice and blue. Mm hmm. I do the same thing with um, fetuses. Feti? Feti. Yeah, that's the plural. Eh. <laughs> Why did your eye? Are you having another seizure? Your eye just fucking wasn't normal. <laughs> I'm a bit of a goofball. Uh, no. Uh, no more shaking hands. I'm Jewish now. Shake my dick. All right. Yeah. Um, so I have a lot of more questions for you. you questions? You prepare some questions? <laughs> yeah. Some cues? All right. Hit me. I really should have been more prepared. No. Hit, no. This is great. This is your vibe. This is you. It the is? People love you. Don't be trying to be something you're not. All right? Like funny? <laughs> no. I wouldn't say that. Yeah. But yeah. Um, so tell me, Colin, when did you move to America? <laughs> it's, do you, do you want to know? Is this like a question you genuinely want to know? <laughs> no. Or are you just like here. thinking of shit? You're looking yeah. around the room. Where'd you get that top, Colin? <laughs> Colin, talk to me. Those <laughs> uh, talk to me. Favorite color. I Go. spy with my little eye. <laughs> Absolutely. I moved here in 2014, September. Oh, that was really soon. September 8th. Did you do, did you do stand-up? Oh, did you do stand-up before in, in Ireland? Yeah, I started stand-up in either 2010 or 2011. February 10th, <laughs> either 2010 or 2011. Yeah. You're a real date, you're a real number guy. Right? Yeah, I guess so. The, I, man I, over here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And then what's the stand-up scene like over there? It's like a lot of open mics. No, there's like no open mics. The open mic scene is just shows. Like it's just bar show. Like <laughs> it's, it's billed as an open mic, but they don't, in Ireland, they won't run a show if there's less than 12 people in the audience, paying customers. So like my first ever open mic, which was seven minutes, was at a show where everyone paid like 10 euro to get in. And there was like 30, 40 people there. And then how did you even get on it? Did you have to you pay g- to do it? You, no, you got to send an email asking to do it. And they'll go, all right, here's, you send an email and then they'll, they'll get back to you in like four weeks, giving you a date four weeks later. So you got to wait eight weeks. And then, um, and then if you do a good job, they'll like keep... A- Kind of, no, you just go do it again. You email them again. And so you have to wait eight weeks between every show. Yeah, my first year, I got on stage 12 times. Wow. Yeah. Can you, like, travel to different places? Yeah, you can drive around. Or you could go in, like, disguise for different mics. Can I should have done that. switch your dick. That's, uh, switch my dick? Switch your dick. I should have buffalo, dick, just buffalo your, billing. Your dick jars. Oh, yeah, exactly. So they don't recognize me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I use them as noses sometimes. Fake <laughs> noses. I show up with <laughs> And with a different merkin on it. I don't know what that is. And Merkin is a, um, a wig for your genitals. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> I, for, I don't even... For who's that? For, like, alopecia patients? Who needs a wig for your bits? Porn stars. Oh, they... What? <laughs> yeah. Well, this is a I know sketch. A lot. I know a lot of facts. Do you have a Merkin? No. Just all... Free ball it. Free ball it? You going wild down there? Wild and out. Jesus. Great show. Never seen it. You never looked down? <laughs> no. What are you talking about? No, because my, t- my boobs are so big, I can't even see down there. Like, yeah, like a fat man's belly. Yeah, yeah I understand. I'm busted. I am fat busted. <laughs> so, so, I was not. <laughs> Have you <laughs> seen the movie? <laughs> fat bastard. I am fat bastard. <laughs> no, because this bitch is blind. My, my name is Fat Bastard. Mr. Is, Bond. This bitch is blind as a bat. <laughs> Anyways, sure. Let's go back to what I'm asking you. Voices, yeah. Why were you asking me? I was asking you about comedy. So <laughs> then you're switching dicks. Anyways, you're going. You to know how it show. is. What did you talk about? What was your first joke? I talked about um, the idea no, of no, of con- of, of, of no, it was good. The idea of conception. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, I did an act out. I did a, an act out of what it's like, the race, the sperm race. And everyone was, like, fighting oh. each other. And, and they're, like, fucking... And then I did, like, a kind of a Star wars He's like, vroom, vroom, fight. I had, big, <laughs> had this big battle. And I, that's a normal person. I was like, but then my dad 
it was like an alcoholic and he's so unhealthy that it was like there was only two of us and we both just like fucking just woke up like blackout drunk and like, what the fuck is this you know and your friend was dead and then I walked into my mother's egg and then I was born it's actually not the worst in the grand scheme of things it's pretty good wow I have a video of him I, I should post it yeah yeah I'm to gonna start it. doing that I'm gonna start posting on my first shows only on patreon patreon.com slash Colin Terrell Colin Terrell yes that's amazing you should bring it back to the stage. Yeah, yeah, it's a whole lot. And I did a whole thing where, like, I f- collapsed on the ground and all this type of shit. So you were kind of an improviser to start. I've always been an improviser. I'll just, I'm wacky. You're a real, wacky. You're a goofball. I'm a real goofball. You're a wild card. You never know what I'm going to do. You have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> See that? Yes, and. Yes, ing. and. Del Close. Del Close Marathon. And the, <laughs> Boston <laughs> bomb <laughs> massacre. Are we, are we, are we the tea party. Are we riffing, <laughs> <laughs> bumping mics. Absolutely, bumping mix. Bumping dicks. Yeah, there we go. Would you like to know what my first joke was? Please. When are you gonna tell it? Um, I did a few. I had a few great ones that were pretty epic. That was a good. I was making fun of her, and the people at home got it. I think I said. Um, <laughs> They're not at home. Most of my fans are in prison. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, I had this one great joke. I said, um, do you know a th- movie I don't think people quote enough? Avatar. Mr. Jake Sully, you come here, you speak like a baby. <laughs> you don't know what to do. <laughs> Killed. Uh, yeah, did it? Yeah. Again, I'm not sure if you've ever even seen this movie. <laughs> And then I have this other <laughs> joke. I say, uh, I'm Mr. Jake Abuli. Mr. Oh. Jake Sully. You come here, you speak like a baby. You don't know what <laughs> that to That sounds do. more like, that honestly sounds more like Fat Bassett than your original. <laughs> I'm not joking. But you really crushed the Scottish accent there. Mm. <laughs> I, a it's kind of more like that. You don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what accent that is, but it's racist. <laughs> For sure. There's no doubt in my mind. That was racist. Honestly, I kind of, cha- I actually kind of think I was channeling Sebastian the Maniscalco. No, the um, <laughs> crab and the Little Mermaid. Oh, on, on the, the sea. sea. God, we are on cue today. <laughs> We're on the same cycle. Anyway, yeah. I had this other great bit. I would say, you know, uh, Keurigs, those coffee machines. Yeah. I don't think they're that great. That was it? Mm-hmm. All right. More of an opinion. <laughs> More of like a... That was an observational comic. <laughs> what else didn't you like? You're railing against the, the man, right? <laughs> Cure eggs? Not a fan. Not that great. <laughs> and people are like waiting Pick, for... Pickles on a burger? Take it or leave it. I don't care. What was so great about that was the fan was like... The fans, at, the point, at that point in my life, the fans, they were just like, is she going to give us more? And I was like, no. You walked off, dropped the mic. You did drop the mic with the cure egg bit. I had a seizure. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't want to. You don't want to open with too strong, you know. The cu- you can't open with the cure egg bit. Then I. Then because everyone's just like, do the cure egg bit. Yeah. Do the cure egg. <laughs> Everywhere you go, do the cure egg bit, and you're like, no. This bitch. How is she so naturally jacked up? She doesn't even drink coffee. Wow, she hates cure egg. Yeah. What does she like? Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> no. And I had this other great bit where I talked about um, sometimes um, when my dog is being a bad doggy, mm-hmm. I like to put on the Sarah McLaughlin song in the arms of an angel mm. just to make my dog realize how fucking lucky he is. That's good. That's cool. That works. You know, the commercial. Yeah. What's the, what, what's the song? In the arms I've of got a dog. An angel. And all his name, yeah, here. all over they play it the, in the yard. Shelters, the yeah. shelters. And it goes, yeah. Oh, I've got a penny. How much is that doggy in the window? Mr. Jake Sully. <laughs> Anyways, back to the hard hitting content. Um, when you move. I feel to- like I'm on Between Two Ferns. Really? Yeah, that's the vibe I'm getting. You, you know him? To, when you, you know Zach and. Zach and. Yes, yes, When you move to America. Did you come here and you were like, okay, next question. Um, <laughs> no, please let me answer that. 
<laughs> no, I wasn't. Okay. Hi. Psycho. Um, finish the question. And you're just I knew, but we hijacking were hijacking the fucking. No, we're so in sync. Hijacking the podcast over here. Um, what color are your eyes? Like brownish, greenish, hazelish. Depends what mood I'm in. This guy doesn't even know the own color of his eyes. They change. How long have you been? <laughs> Fill what? in the blank. What the <laughs> <laughs> this is the dumbest interview. <laughs> it wasn't even an interview. Are you just forcing yourself to ask questions? You don't need to. You don't need to ask questions. We can just talk about whatever. It doesn't yeah, have to be you per- start. Doesn't have to be a personal thing. Okay. Elon Musk said he's gonna buy Coke, Coca-Cola, and put Coke in the Coke. You think that's true? No, but I, he was did that say a that. Tweet. It's not. A, I don't know if it's a fake tweet. It's like a joke. We, is he know. just being hilarious right now? I don't know what his deal is. He's, I, I like him. He's a big eccentric mil- billionaire. I don't want my billionaires to be didn't regular. He, Max, didn't we talk about this, that he said that he was the first person to ever host SNL with autism? Yeah. yeah Meanwhile, yeah. we were saying how, like, the amount of comedians on SNL with autism is yeah, probably no, pretty probably high. Almost 100%, yeah. Who has autism? What comedians have autism? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have autism? No, you don't. Do you? No, I don't. What, what have you got? What have I got? What have you got? Herpes? No. Ooh. I don't have herpes. No? Uh-uh. Why does everyone say that? Why does, that, what do Why I does everyone say you have herpes? Nobody's ever said I have herpes. No? Has anyone ever said that? Yeah. They always say it's you're, you're part of that the crew. <laughs> no, they don't. They always say the top five herpes comedians. You're always in that list. Really? Yeah, it's you, Eric Aspera. What's that other girl's name? The other dirty one? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. You're you're in that crew. Really? The herpy crew. Joe List. Erica. No, what's the other one's name? Uh, Elias. Ariel Elias. She's got herpes. I'm not in that crew. Definitely. Yeah. I get tested for herpes more than anyone that you'll ever meet. <laughs> true, Max? Yes, true. How many episodes of the podcast are dedicated to getting tested to herpes? A good chunk. A good chunk. Uh, and I read all my messages with City MD on the podcast. I was texting with City MD. They're using up all my data. Data. Who knows? Data, potato, tomato. Data, tomato. Yeah. I love a good fruit salad. And, um, yeah, you know, I, I don't have the herpes yet because I haven't met my forever. But, uh, vampire blood. And, um, yeah, so have you ever done heroin? No. What's the, would you like to do drugs? You do cocaine. Sometimes, yeah. Try not to do it too often. Try not to do it. You know, Max is a fucking psychopath because he's the type of fucking lunatic who will who will buy a bag of blow and he'll... Oh, uh, will you? No, but this is what this fucking... No nut, buys blow. No, yeah, this is what this nut job over here will do. He'll do a, he'll do a little bit of it. And then save the rest what? of the bag for, for the weekend. No one or does that. Something. And I and I'm like I'm like, whoa, 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 finish the whole thing at once. That's the that's the that's the, the curse and the beauty of cocaine. It's like a one night thing. Yeah. I've tried. I I have not finished. Wow, that was I, really beautiful of what you just said. Thank you. Name the episode there. Um Hey girl Allen poop over here. Oh, uh, okay. That, that's what Coke does, it just clears the bowels. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's the cheap coke. Is he the shits? You wanna know what this um uh, drug dealer said to me the other night? No. I mean the other year. Okay. Um, wow. Wow. Good are save. You, are you are you back? Are you back? I'm fine. Anyways, <laughs> he said to me, I go, How do you know there's not fentanyl in this? And he goes, Well, you don't know the fentanyl test? And I go, What is it? He goes, if you take a lick of it and you shit your pants immediately fentanyl and i go no fentanyl or there's fat something like that and i go <laughs> wait no i go you're the worst drug dealer i've ever heard of in my life you're a bad customer also he got, gave you the test and you and you're like it's either you, listen <laughs> someone t- licks it and shits them pants and they're like wait so what is that is that good or bad and you're like i think it's good i think <laughs> it's fine yeah. i had the worst drug dealer i actually ever met was in in college it was myself no i was not that bad but um I had the worst drug dealer ever. I was visiting my friend in college, and <clears throat> there was this dealer who came over <clears throat> to sell us whatever. And uh, 
he came, every time he would come, he would just like stay and hang out, and it was like really yeah. annoying because he was like a lonely dealer. It's like a cliche, yeah. And you'd be like, <laughs> but he was like really funny, but he would always bring like a bag of like McDonald's or something and just like sit around and be like, because there'd be like a day party going on. He'd be like, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna hang out, make a little drink, and like. Just like wouldn't fucking leave and just yeah. be there for like hours and like we'd give him all the money because we'd be buying like a lot for like the whole weekend or something. Yeah. And then I remember the one time we asked someone after he left, he'd been there for like three hours, he leaves finally. And then we're all like, Do you have it? Do you have it? And everyone's like, I thought you had it. I thought you had it. So we call him and we're like, We don't have it. And he goes, you don't fucking talk to me like that. You have it. You have it. He's like, check your pockets. Check your pockets. We're all checking. We're checking. And he's like, you don't accuse me. I'm your friend. I'm the fun guy. I'm the fun guy. <laughs> and then like five minutes later, he calls. He goes, yeah, my bad. It's in my pocket. I'm going to come back and hang for a little. Oh, <laughs> and, no. Yeah. Wow. And this was like the third time he did that. Wow. Yeah, he has, it's like a technique he does to hang out with people. Yeah, it's kind of like the old leave behind. You know the leave behind? The thing that chicks do? Yeah. 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 Or you, or you could also do the leave in the oven. What? Leave a baby in there. Oh, you, okay. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that one mm. as much. You don't have strong sperm? Mm? No. Do you want kids? Mm? My own? No. Other people's kids look cute. Yeah. I hang out with them. What do you mean? You want to adopt? No. I want to molest well, I kids. You want to molest kid? <laughs> You're like one of those comics who just goes for the jailbait, the clickbait. Jailbait, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That was good. See that? We wrote a bit. Rolling the bit. Wrote a bit. Slapping the bit. Do you have mate? Someone's ringing you. Want to get it? No. All right. See, I turned off my phone for hey, her. I'm working. Wow, I look really pretty in this light. They hung Another up. Another call at once. Hey, I'm actually on the other line. Oh my god. Hi. Chloe. Yo, Natalie. Chloe. No, it's what? It's Colum Terrell. Chloe. Are you naked? What? Are you naked? I'm naked. All right, I'm give me naked. a peep. Give us a little peep. Come on. <laughs> give us a uh, little peep. Well, I'm working because I work. Come on, like, give us a peep. Come on. I work like a dog. She's. Stop making me hard, Nat. Okay, bye. I'm working really hard. Give a peep. Fucking bitch wouldn't give a peep. I love you. I should say. I look good in this light. I love you. Bye. Anyways, back. Damn it! We almost got a peep, boys. I got two almost got a peep at once. Now I'm gonna have to just Google it. What the slow mo it? What slow mo it? Can we talk? Maybe we can catch a reflection, boys. If we really work hard on this, we can catch a reflection in the Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, ca catch a little bit of Natalie Cuomo's nips. We talk. Whatever weird tattoo she has on her tits. So probably SpongeBob. Have you ever dated a comedian? Mm, no. Why not? They're fucking idiots. Whoa! I know. I like dating funny women. It's for the people at home, in prison. In prison. Have you ever fucked a comedian? Yeah, of course. Who? I'm not telling you. Why would I tell you that? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is the gossip column? Give me a hint. No. One hint. I don't know. I, I'll have to think of if you know any of them. I probably don't. Kim Cogden at Skankfest. No. Edit that out. One time we have an entire episode of Bleeps. Like, we spent an entire episode saying this guy named Henry. His name's Henry. And we, he was dedicated, like, the whole first season was talking about Henry. Shout out to Henry. Holy shit. Did I talk about how, after three years of being blocked, that I got to see Henry again? Uh, I don't know. If you said secret, to, to, secret to getting back in touch? Got a new phone number. You got a, you got a new phone yeah, number? Yeah. So I saw him again. So you just texted him off a new number? I said, hey, Henry. I don't know if there's any bad blood here. It's Chloe. I'm actually going to be in Philly because I was opening for Corinne. If uh, you want to hang out or something, and he called me immediately, he's like, Chloe, I miss you. Even though he had blocked you? Yeah, he's like, I fucking love to see you. Because the, the story with the fans, they all know about it. That's wild. The, they, all, they all know about it. He texted me after one of our fights. <laughs> how could you not, how could you he, not miss this? We like... met in rehab, and he goes, he goes, he goes, lose my number and don't even think. 
think about continuing this conversation again. That's that's kind of hot, right? I was like, I fucking love you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this guy is a jokester. Yeah. We were fighting on the phone one night, and I was like, you just make me feel like a psycho. And then he yells, he goes, maybe I'm a fucking psycho. And I was like, I started giggling. Like a schoolboy bitch. And I'm like, hee hee hee. And then he goes, if you don't hang up the phone, I'm going to block you. And I go, why don't you hang up? He goes, if you don't hang the fucking phone, I'm going to block you. I'm like, you hang up. And then he hang up and block you? No, and then he didn't block me. And then I sent him a picture of like cookies like two days later. I'm like, it's okay. Jesus Christ. And then he goes, lose my number. You're exhausting. Seems like you're just having you around is exhausting. You I dating me, you don't think it would be fun? Uh, maybe if I was 24. And, and dating a psychopath is fun. Yeah. Just having having a, having a girl throw stilettos at my fucking restaurant manager or something. I don't know what you do. You're, about, you're doing something I'm fucking... I'm actually really chill. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay. You're I'm really... Cool. Yeah. You ever see me on stage? Do you, like, ever, do you know how many people have blocked me? On, uh, none. Me. You blocked me? Uh-huh. I'm w- I don't even know what type of fucking <laughs> platform you're talking about. <laughs> Trump's new one. Trump has a new platform? I blocked you on it. What's it called? Is that the Truth Social? Yeah, Truth Social. Oh, Truth Social. You on, you on Truth Social? TS? <laughs> I, gotta get, I gotta get on there. So I don't know who you blocked, but it wasn't me. It you're was an, it. It was an impersonator. It was a catfish. You've been getting catfished. I, catfish, I was catfishing myself. Well, I wasn't catfishing myself, but in the pandemic, I went on Tinder... Because I was, you know, <clears throat> trying to get it in. And, um, <clears throat> don't worry, you run around. But I went on Tinder, and I changed my name to Kayla. And I said that I worked, I said I was one year younger than I am. And I said that I worked. 34? No. I said I was 30. Or 29. So okay. it was a pandemic. And then um, I said I worked in PR. And I said I had a great relationship with my dad. I was from Texas. And so my name is Kayla, but I used all the fo- my regular photos of myself. Mm. And then I saw Brendan Sagalo. He texted me and he sent me a screenshot. He was like, just so you know, Chloe, someone is using wow. your photos on Tinder. That's and I so go, funny. I go, no, it's me. <laughs> Which is goes, so much. I go, I'm catfishing. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, he goes, you're retarded. That's not catfishing <laughs> if you're using your own photos. And you're actually wearing a T-shirt and one of them that says Chloe. Yeah. Interesting. And so I'd go on dates with people, and I was just like... As Kayla? Yeah, and I was just lying. I was like, on, I went on like three dates, and they're like, That's what cool. do you do? So I was kind of like having fun, because I was like taking acting classes by myself. Hmm. But it's really weird to like do these lies and do a bit when you're actually alone with the person. Yeah, of course. So I'm just like with a random guy, and I'm on a date, and I'm just like, he's like, what's your name? I'm like, oh, I'm Kayla. And I'm just, like, having the time of my life. Just and, he, and he's like, what part of I'm Texas are you from? And I was, and I was like, like, yeah, Austin, like, Houston. From, what I was like, those? I'm from Dallas. Like, I don't go home a lot because my family's so racist. And oh, I'm just, like, making up lie after oh, lie. I'm like, a bit of a daddy's girl. And then I'm just like, do you have any tattoos? I told this one guy, and I was like, I have one. I, have a, I was like, I have a matcha latte on my butt. <laughs> I have my sorority. And... um. I have a Jewish star. I'm not Jewish, but I just want to piss off my dad. <laughs> and, like, I just was doing, like, the craziest shit. But then I started, like, actually hooking up with one of the guys. And you didn't have any tattoos? No. I My name was just not Kayla. No, I'm... I'm, I'm so... I'm following that part. So, after... You told this guy you had a tattoo of a fucking Wendy's logo or something on your cunt. And then he went down on you and you had no tattoo. No, he found a dick. No. Nice. He, it was yours? Um, oh, so anyways. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the clothes show. This is wild. <laughs> you don't think I'd be cool to date? Hmm? Mm-hmm. You're just exhausting. You're just an exhausting human. Why? Just, you're just fucking... I'm tired, you're too. You're catfishing people. <laughs> What are you talking about? Like, I'm tired, too. You should. I know. You, you've got to be tired. So, anyways, last night I'm in Tompkins Square Park, right? Looking to score some crack. All Everyone's asleep. I don't know what time you're supposed to buy crack anymore. You think crackheads would not would be awake? Changed it when the pandem- pandemic. They, they all started going to bed earlier because of the pandemic. It's weird, huh? Mm, and then they just kept that lifestyle. You know, you know what's funny? 
if you're talking to someone and you're like, all right, I got to go. I'm going to go buy some crack. They think you're joking. Mm, absolutely. But you're not. Yeah. I know. I get it. It's so fun to fuck with people, especially when you're being serious. Is that fucking with them? Well, they think you're joking. They're like, ha, ha, ha. And I'm like. I know. And I'm like. I'm like that, yeah, when I say I want to molest kids. And I'm like, I will get the last laugh. I get it too, yeah. But then I'm, they I'm will also get the last laugh because I'll, get, I'll do fentanyl. Oh, is that the thing? Yes. So. Because um, you're constipated. Uh, Max, how do you make crack? Uh, it's put cocaine and baking soda on tinfoil, add water, and heat it underneath. And then you get rocks. And Martha's, Martha's fucking Stewart yeah. over here. Fuck me. <laughs> yeah. Paula <laughs> Poundstone. Yeah, well, yeah. Give it, no, Paula Poundstone. How much water? What, uh, you I don't know, think it's that much water. What's the temperature? What temperature? How long? It's a lighter. I mean, I don't Just a lighter? You don't use lighter. He, he, use lighter. he doesn't know he's. Uh, don't know, yeah. He uh, doesn't know he's, he's a pussy. I want to see a, a like make crack recipe and then like from a blogger and, and then he's like Paul Dini, he's like and then add two sticks yeah. of butter. <laughs> yeah, there's like a preamble up top. It's like I remember the first time I did crack. I was on vacation in Nashville. You know, and you're like just get to the recipe. I don't want to read any of this stuff. <laughs> it's like it's like in porn. He's like, why do we need the script up top? Yeah, just it, put it in. <laughs> I get yeah. Does improv porn? I know I dated this. I just got out of rehab again recently, and I did date a crackhead, and he was before fish- or after. What are you talking about? Well, we met in rehab, and then we were hooking up after, and he was he was efficient, uh, as most crackheads are. And he he I I got some. It was great actually because he was also a carpenter, and I had a lot of work that needed to be done in my apartment, and so he he really took care of business. Like before it ended, I got him to paint my whole apartment, wallpaper. I, Rehang my TV, and I don't know if he was so efficient because he liked me or if he was already on crack. It's one of those two. Which one makes you feel better in your heart? So that was cool. And then this last guy who was here, oh Hopper, you know Hopper? No. My little buddy. No, no Hopper. idea. Anyways, he always comes here. He's my podcast look the other week or something, and I told him that he caused me um, emotional trauma on his visit, so I made him take me to the Apple Store and buy me AirPods. He cost he causes you emotional trauma. Yeah, on his visit. So I made him take me to Apple Store to buy me AirPods. That's crazy. Yeah. Do you have any trauma? Don't think so. So why do you touch kids? Hmm? Why do you Just touch a hot. Girls or boys? I've got a small cock, so <laughs> it, it feels better. That's uh, it's actually uh, you, well. Why are you laughing? It's why I'm. Uh, no, it's just, it's... So when are you getting engaged? It's just a silly billy time. What is this? Cut this, cut this. <laughs> Beep! That would be funny for this episode. If you had like a bunch of like funny cuts like that. We, we have tons. That's all. One one episode was literally just beep, 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 beep. And they're like, is that a truck backing up or a well, podcast? Yeah, I like the beat. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. After what you just said? You know, like, chucks that back up? No. Okay, fuck Mary Kill. No, okay, go. Hit me. Michelle Obama. Barack Obama. Yamanika. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Even... <laughs> What's the what's the correlation? I don't understand. What's the, what have they got to do? What have they got in common? You tell me. I guess I'm marrying Yamanika because she's funniest. Um, and then I'm gonna kill Barack Obama because my fans would love that. My fans would be a big fan. They, they they'd really. They'd get my back. I'd be on Tucker Carlson and stuff, defending my right. And um, then, I'd, then I'd fuck um, Michelle Obama, because I like trans women. Okay, now you give me one. Okay. Fuck, Mary kill. Hillary Clinton. Bill Clinton. Sam Morrell. Sam <laughs> Fuck Bill. Okay. Mary Hillary would then fucking murder her. 
No, you not you can't fucking do that. This is the you only get one thing. You don't get to join the things. It's the whole point of the game. Murder Hillary Clinton. You're gonna murder Hillary Clinton. Murder her pussy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it depends. No. What's your definition of murder? You know? Okay, murder. I. You're no, gonna, let me. You're gonna this. get demonetized if we keep talking about murdering Hillary Clinton. Murder Hillary. The Mary, only way. Mary Bill, because he's hilarious. He plays sax too. I love him. Oh, he's, he's just a loose, loose, loose guy. And then, <laughs> um, fuck Sam. Wait. Okay. I guess. I saw actually. I got. It, I saw. I got him on Hinge, and uh, I saw him at the sand the other night, and I said, "Hey." I got you on Hinge the other day. I got you on Hinge. Like, I'm at, I saw you on Hinge. Uh, I uh, liked you not because I'm interested, just because I wanted to talk. And then he goes, okay. Did the sound it? Okay, I haven't seen you in years. Interesting. You got him. It's so funny the way you express your language. I got you on Hinge. Gotcha. Now I'm over Nice. Okay. <laughs> Where do you where do you see your life going, <laughs> Chloe? Let's ask you some questions. Where do you see your life going? Do you have any dreams, yeah. or is it literally just like hopefully I'm still alive in five years? What yeah, is it? I'm gonna have an oceanfront ranch in Santa Barbara. In the next two years, I'm gonna buy a house in Malibu in Paradise Cove. It's like glorified trailer park, but it's not actually a trailer park. It's just what they call it in Paradise it's Cove. It's usually like chic little bungalows. Tiny homes. Mm, no, they're not that small. I'm gonna buy a house there in the next two years. And then I'm going to be by coastal between there and like Soho probably. And um, I'm going to marry like a super hot guy. He's probably going to be a Jew because they're more stable. Are they? A Jewish man. Yeah. And I just can't do wasps anymore. And I'm so over trust fund guys because they're just assholes. And they just, they don't, they just, mm, you know, I want a more of a self-made guy. And self-made Jew. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'm also Who, really who's, who's also going to live by coastal? Mm, I don't really give a shit what he does. Okay, great. And um, I want to have one child, but that's not until I'm 36. I'm going to get married in Anguilla. And Sorry? I'm going to get married in Anguilla at Capture Luca. And What's that? I, it's St. Lucius or something? Where is that? It's in Anguilla. Where is that? British Virgin Islands. And then I want to... Oh, the British Virgin Islands. Yeah. Interesting. Wait, where did you say? Anguilla. Anguilla? Anguilla. Are you saying it right? Call him Terrell. I, the first time I ever got drunk was at the British Virgin Islands. I was 12 years old. My sister lived there. You touched yourself because you were a kid. Th- that's probably where I get it from. Um, I molested myself as a child. You know, they do say people who get molested, molested, molested other people, right? That's what they say. And be really into fox hunting. Hereditary molestation. <laughs> I'm going to have a lot of horses for fox hunting. And I'm going to get... You're going to get horses f- to fox hunt. And I'm going to get into firearms. you got to go to England to fox hunt, do you? No, you can do it in America. Ireland is actually the best. I'm going to go with my friends. Really? I thought what? it was illegal. No, it, you can do... I'm actually going to go to Meath. Mead. Mead. I'm going to Mead. Actually, maybe this... Uh, holy shit, I was going to say this summer, but it almost says that. To go with my friend to look at horses. Going to go buy a horse? She is, but I'm going with her. Nice. Yeah, flawless to ride over there. So a lot less to ride, to, to pay. Lawless. Ireland has a lot of, like, uh, poor people ride horses and poor people play golf. You ever got and, on a and horse? And poor people drink. I've never been on a horse in my life, no. You look like you have not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for doing the podcast. Is that it? It's wrapped up? You got, you got through all your list of questions that you prepared? Yeah, that was uh, all the research I did on you. And I know you got to go. Yeah, I gave you the... I got four minutes. Is there anything you have to ask me? No. I could not care. It, Do not give a fuck about you. Oh. What would you rate me on a scale of one to ten? Out of what? Like, what's the, what am I rating just as a person? As a person? 10. As a sex icon? 10. Really? Yeah. Sick. Any other categories? As a comedian? 10. <laughs> As a podcaster? Uh, yeah, 10. <laughs> Across the board. Nice. You got it all. Why's your hand shaking? 
The crack? Use your meds. How's the crack? I'm not kissing you. Everyone kisses it. Do they? <laughs> oh, you look, you look, he crumbled in the question. Okay, now to end the podcast. That would have been fun. You should have said everybody ends with kissing Now to me. end the podcast, what is your favorite um, karaoke song? Yeah. Ew! That was disgusting. No, it wasn't. It was hot. If you were one of Hitler's dogs, I'd shoot you. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I ended up sucking um, me off. Um, could you please play, um, what's your favorite go-to karaoke song? Oh, up here. Fucking, uh, Karma Chameleon. Okay, Max, Culture Club. Karma, 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 Karma Chameleon. This is our new segment. I'm a the end man. of every podcast. Without conviction, I'm a man. Do you have speakers? No. Do, 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 do. Woo! Now you sing it. Yeah, Collie. You know it goes at the end. The Collie Club. This is how it ends. I planned this one part. I don't know the words. Make it up. Uh, there's something, don't you know, that you are gay. And I got a jar of dicks, and I use them to touch the kids. <laughs> we should do a recap in words, yeah. And me. Fuck, Mary kill. These three random black people, close show, the close show. What a waste of everyone's time this was. It won't last long. See you at 12. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you so much, Colin. You're a fucking star, dude. Please vote for Dave Smith in the next. Yeah, thank you. Bye. I'll walk you out. That was amazing. That was so much fun. Thank you.